seeing you all. You guys all look so good tonight. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm gay when they meet me, and I mean, I probably will be. <laughs> but for right now, it's all about this really confusing journey, right? <laughs> I got gay bashed in my neighborhood, which I didn't know could happen. What happened was I was walking down the street, I heard this guy yell out, Check out this fagamuffin! <laughs> so I laughed, because it was a hilarious word. <laughs> then I hear, What are you laughing at? That's when I realized he was talking to me. <laughs> so I looked at him and I said, I was laughing because you were trying to be homophobic, but instead, you're adorable. <laughs> he had no idea what hit him, but I knew what hit me, it was a bottle of Clamato juice. <laughs> second worst time you can break your arm. First worst would be if you broke your arm in an arm wrestling contest to win back the custody of your son. <laughs> High school close second. Close second. Because people will come up to you, point at your arm in a cast, and smirk and say, I know how you broke that. <laughs> Jerk it off. <laughs> And laugh, and you just you just have to sit there. Good. No, no, I did not break my arm jerking off. Because if you've ever jerked off before, you would know if you broke your arm jerking off, you would rip your dick off first. <laughs> a much bigger problem. <laughs> Dave Matthews just released this new album, and guys, guess what? He's up to his old tricks. It is awful. Uh, it is so bad. But what's great about Dave Matthews' new albums, I know, there's something great about it? Yes, he has to promote them. And I'm going to tell you guys a secret. He is the best interview subject ever, because he gave this little gem to the world. He was being interviewed, and they were like, a couple years ago, you released three albums in one year. That's a lot of albums. How did you release three albums in one year, Dave Matthews? And he said, two of those albums wouldn't have happened if four people who were close to me didn't die. <laughs> and I heard that, and I was like, God damn, God's accuracy. Killing four people close to Dave Matthews and missing Dave Matthews. <laughs> Dave, you do it. That guy's good. I dated this girl in college who, right before me, she dated a guy who killed himself. That's how they broke up. Uh, <laughs> there's no getting back together. She told me that as we're going into a party, and I was like, perfect, I'm going to have to get so drunk, I don't remember this. And I did. I forgot about it for three whole weeks. Popped into my head, worst possible time, in the middle of drunken sex. And it sent a cold chill down my spine, and I shivered like this. <laughs> and she's like, what just happened? So I was smart, so I did it again. <laughs> I, then I opened my eyes, and I said, Denise, it's me, Derek! <laughs> And I've come to fuck you one last time. <laughs> Never forget it. <laughs> I was 
sick for three years. That happened. I was sick for three years. And it turns out why I was sick is I am allergic to red meat, which I didn't know you could be allergic to, because it's my favorite thing. <laughs> so what would happen is, I would eat red meat every day, because it's my favorite thing, and just feel sick and be like, probably cancer, and then I would eat more red meat to feel better. <laughs> so I was always sick. And I found out I'm allergic to red meat. It's my favorite thing. So like the whole past month, all I've been doing is cutting steak out of pictures I've taken with steak. <laughs> and like just drinking outside of butcher shops and yelling. Just yelling. And I'm agnostic. Like I've been agnostic my whole life because I'm not God, so why should I care if there is one? <laughs> but now I'm just like fully, I'm like, you know what? There is no God. There is no God. Because what did God have to gain from making me allergic to red meat? When I was in high school, the captain of the hockey team died. I understand why that had to happen. It was hilarious. <laughs> but what did God have to gain from making me allergic to red meat? I'm sad more? I'm already the saddest person I know. I saw 500 Days of Summer and had to run to the subway because I was crying and didn't want people to see me. I cry in public a lot, a lot. Like, sometimes I'm, like, running errands while crying because I couldn't wait it out at my apartment. I'm gonna end it on this, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. And I really like you guys. It's true. I usually date the same type of girls over and over. I usually date, like, little mousy girls who have the bangs and stuff. And, um, and they say things like, I wish our bodies were made of blankets so we could just lay on one another. <laughs> like, me too, that sounds great. Can we make muffins? She's like, I already did. Let me eat them. Um, <laughs> it's so perfect. But then I gave this girl... Then I gave this girl who was a real sexual dynamo who knew exactly what she wanted in the bedroom. And you know what? We tried a bunch of things, and you know what I found out about myself? I am too silly for sex. <laughs> because there was this one time, she was like, I want you to throw me around the bedroom. <laughs> and I was like, how about you just run and I trip you? <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm Sean O'Connor. <laughs>